Hi, welcome to the Blue Bar at the Taj Palace Hotel. My name's Joel. Um, now today we're going to be making four cocktails for you. And you can make these at home, although don't worry about making it at home, just come to the Blue Bar. Come to the Blue Bar, have a drink at the Blue Bar. Thank you so much, Joel, for doing this with us. No problem. So tell us, what are the Christmas cocktails that we'll be doing today? Well, obviously we're going to be making mulled wine because what's Christmas without mulled wine? Hmm. Saying that, I mean, I'm from Australia where it's hot, we never have mulled wine at Christmas, it's in winter, but here in India where it's cold, we have mulled wine. Absolutely, okay. for me, Christmas is synonymous with mulled wine. Okay, now we're also going to be making a cocktail called a rusty wooden nail. We're going to be making a cocktail called Renaissance, hmm. and we're going to finally be making a cocktail called Kissed by Winter. Interesting names. So should we start? Of course. <laughs> Let's okay. start. So, which, are we, which is the first one that we're doing? First cocktail we're going to be doing is called a rusty wooden nail mm -hmm. and it goes in these lovely marble glasses. Oh lovely. Which is uh, so it's quite a beautiful now. The way these glasses came about being in the hotel is I was actually on my honeymoon with my, uh, my wife and in a little uh, emporio in uh, Jodhpur in Rajasthan, um, I went in and I found these, uh, these lovely marble glasses. So I, uh, I bought a packet for me at home and then took down the details and got the, cup, got the hotel to order some. Interesting. And, and where was this? This was in a little emporio in Jodhpur, Rajasthan. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that's where the idea struck you? Yeah, well look, I, uh, I love interesting things. So. And the, um, the funny thing is that a, a famous bar in London called the Gibson, they've suddenly came up with uh, these glasses on their most recent cocktail menu. So, for this uh, first cocktail, it contains some lemon. So, I'm just going to... This is my juicer in the bar. That's so an interesting one. All you do is you push down like so. So would you? Should I do that? Yep. It's probably easier if you put it down here on the, hmm. on and the bar I... top. Yep. 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 Maybe I'll push it. Push down. Right. No. Yep. Done. And it squeezes up the the juice. Lovely. Oh. So now we'll just split that in half. Work out to be around about 15 mils. Five. Yep. So for your. So we, to start with, we've just crushed up. For each drink, it's a it's a quarter of a lemon. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now, as I'm also going to uh, need this, what we do. Is I'm just going to cut away the back pith of the lemon. Now, the reason is we've got beautiful flavours in the skin of the lemon. However, the, uh, the pith is a that's little bit a, bitter. That so. gets a little bitter. So we need to get rid of that. And so this is going to be part of our garnish. That smells so nice. Oh, wait till I uh, flambe it. Oh my God. Okay, now. This is sandalwood infused Johnny Walker Green Label. Now, Johnny Walker Green Label is a blend of single malt whiskies um, where most of our most of Johnny Walker's blends are a s blend of single grain and single malt whiskies. Mm -hmm. This is a blend of single malt whiskies from Diageo's single malt portfolio. Now we're going to add in 45 mils. And that. Now the, the 
and Green home. Label's already got beautiful sandalwood notes, but we really intensify them and it gives a beautiful sandalwood flavour to the cocktail. How long have you infused this? Well, this one, with, with the sandalwood, I basically just keep filling up the whiskey and it keeps giving flavour and as the as the wood flavour starts to get a bit a little bit less I just add another sip of sandalwood. Okay. So where with um look with most infusions hmm. um if it's a fresh fruit you're pretty much gonna strip out all the flavour in the first 24 hours. If it's uh if it's something like a dried fruit, it's probably going to take about three or four days to strip out all the flavours. Now once all the flavours out, there's not a lot of flavour going to be added, so and they look so good on the back bar with with the ingredients in. So it's more about for me it's more about getting the right amount rather than the right amount of time. Yeah, now going to add in 30 mils of big infused. Tennessee honey whiskey. That smells good. Yet again. Mm. <laughs> and look, fig is definitely, for me, it's one of the fruits of winter time. Of course. Okay, now we'll just add in ice to our shakers. Now comes the best part. Shaking. Yep. Okay, now. Now you tell me how. When we when we shake, first you mm. push these together. Mm. Okay. Then I always like to have one hand over the top, one hand over the bottom. That means it can't go apart. And then we shake. Good idea. Nice, good shake. <laughs> okay. How long do we need to do this? Look, for me, it's I judge it off how cold my hands are. My hands are when, really when, cold now. <laughs> when I get to that point where it's starting to hurt my hand, look, that means it's cold enough. It is very cold. Okay. So. Hawthorne strainers mm. over the top. Now, into the glasses, I'm just going to add one ice cube. Now, let me give you a Hawthorne strainer there. Thank you. Now, what we do, is we have one finger over the top like so. Okay, like this. Yeah. Holding this in place, whatever's comfortable mm. for you. Mm. And then we just Straight pour up. over the tea strainer. Now if this cocktail there's always extra. Oh. Oops, sorry, I should. That's okay. <laughs> more the more now, the merrier. So here, here, here in Blue Bar, <laughs> we actually put a glass on the side. This always comes. And the and this, you refill the cocktail. Now, I so love the glasses, but or the marble glassware, but mm. it's quite small, so rather than... I filled mine to the brim. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Now, the one now of the I'm sexy good. parts of, uh, of a lot of these cocktails. Oh, uh, there's a lighter for you. Ooh. Okay, so what we do is we just put the flame on the orange skin. Okay. This is going to bring all the juices out and then we squeeze. Is and now okay? squeeze over the drink. Is this fine? With, with, oh. the, with the flame. Oh, with the flame. Thank okay. you. Okay, now this, what it does, it brings out all the oils mm. onto the surface. Thank you. Gives, a, is this gives fine? a sexy flame which makes you look really good when you're making the drink. Okay, and then finally, we're just going to oh. drop a piece of fig on a cocktail stick, one like so. This is the rusty wooden nail. 
Thank you, Joel. That looks really interesting and good. Oh, you have a taste? Yes. Should I have it from here? Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It's really, really good. Excellent. And you can taste the figs. Perfect. You can for taste Christmas. the sandalwood. You can actually. That nice little sour. Of course. Hint. <laughs> so, rusty wooden knife. To Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs>